you're right. I am committed to pursuing the peace process as you have started with PCEC. Amen? And I... Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpunta sa umagang ito. I would like to uh, welcome, officially welcome everyone on behalf of the Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches. Uh, but first of all, I would like to welcome uh, in our midst, we thank God, we thank Him for His uh, willingness and availability to be with us this morning. The chairman of the uh, MILF Peace Panel, Honorable Mohakir Iqbal. Maraming salamat po. around 10 a.m. this morning. She is the presidential advisor on the peace process. <clears throat> but we would like to welcome also the uh, Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches member bodies. Since we have announced that we will be conducting this open forum, we have gotten much interest. And uh, we have friends from the Cordillera Autonomous Region, from Region 1, and Region 2 and CAR who have come to be with us this morning. Maraming salamat po. I understand that you traveled since last night to be with, with us here this morning. And uh, I saw some friends from Zamboanga and the ARMM uh, provinces that have come this morning to be with us. Uh, pwede po bang uh, tumayo kayo? Palakpakan natin sila. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us here. And we have representatives from Region 1 up to Region 12 of the Philippines, and including Mega Manila. Maraming salamat po. And uh, in our midst also, uh, I'm sorry, I did not exactly get their, the group, but there are um, Muslim uh, women, women's group for peace process. Thank you so much, <laughs> sisters, for coming this morning. The Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches member bodies composed of 32,000 churches in the Philippines, 74 denominations and 169 uh, parachurch organizations have been praying for the peace process. It has been more than seven decades or so since the fighting in Mindanao have started. 300,000 lives. And as of this morning, while we are seated comfortably in this beautiful building, about 75,000 people, male, female, senior citizens, children, are being displaced because of the fighting going on in Mindanao. My first encounter with Chairman Iqbal was in 2009 and 2010 after Bishop F. Tendero and uh, my brother Dan. Yes po, kapatid ko, si Pastor Dan Pantoja. Magkamukha ba kami? <laughs> Kuya ko po siya. At uh, siya po ay uh, aking professor sa sociology when I was taking up uh, sociology <clears throat> after my theology classes at Phoebus College of Bible. But PCEC, has been interacting. And I had an opportunity to be with Chairman Iqbal and the uh, leaders of the uh, Peace Panel of MILF in 2009 and 2010 in Sultan Kudarat and other parts in Mindanao. We have invited Baptist groups, alliance groups, and evangelical uh, leaders to have uh, a free interaction and we were welcome in their places 
And since then, the Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches have supported the peace process, including the crafting of the Bangsamoro Basic Law. The statement that Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches have not been made in secret. It was published in the main, in the daily newspaper, including the PCEC website. Came January 24 and January 25, the bloody incident in Mama Sapano. After that, we were bombarded with many questions. There were fears and expression of anxieties. And there were denominations, pastoral groups, ministerial associations who have went from mid to going as far as going against BBL. When we announced this open forum this morning, we invited the member bodies of the Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches, including friends who have high interest in knowing and asking their questions and expressing freely their sentiments and their thoughts and ideas about the BBL. And so, here we are this morning. But January 29, the Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches Board of Directors issued another statement. Again, it was published in the daily, including our website, reiterating our support for the peace process, but expressing our desire to be more discerning, to be more prayerful, and to have continued education process to study further, including the expression of many questions after the incident. We traveled in Mindanao recently, last month, and we had a face-to-face interaction with evangelical leaders in Mindanao, including some uh, churches representing ARM as far as Sulu. And we came up with a statement that I would like to read to you this morning. But in this uh, statement, it is a statement expressing our desire continued desire to pursue peace, justice, and righteousness in our land. Evangelical Christians, we just celebrated the Resurrection Sunday yesterday, the most victorious celebration of Christians when the Lord Jesus Christ rose from the dead 2,000 years ago. On the night of the resurrection, Jesus Christ left a message, a prayer to his disciples. And we know it all. Jesus said when he appeared in that small room, when his disciples were gathered, he said, peace be with you. That is the desire of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is our desire also. That people, not only the people of Mindanao, but Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, Christians, and non-Christians alike in our country and around the world would experience the peace that passeth all understanding, the desire and the prayer of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This statement will be published starting today. And this is probably a little bit medyo late na ng konti sapagkat we would like to have it uh, read this morning. After uh, this forum, we would be publishing this statement as approved by our board of directors. 
the PCEC statement on the situation in our land in the aftermath of Mapas, Mama Sapano tragedy. As followers of Jesus Christ, and I quote this statement, the Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches envisions to help transform our nation. Our faith allows us to see a land where peace, justice, and righteousness reign. Our hope moves us to help build communities where everyone has a decent standard of living. Our love compels us to share the good news of Jesus Christ in a society where every person and every community is free to express and practice their worldviews while respecting the worldview of other people. As we face various challenges in our country, especially in the aftermath of the Mama Sapano tragedy, based on our biblical perspectives on truth, mercy, justice, and peace, we make the following calls. We call for the truth about the Mama Sapano tragedy. We support the ongoing investigations. Some have already submitted their reports by the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, by independent bodies like the Interfaith Fact Finding Initiative, who would make credible presentation of the facts. And we reject the irresponsible conjectures of some sectors who misuse this case for their personal interests. Instead, we expect a truthful, prompt, and just closure of this case that will bring healing to all concerned and to the whole nation. Because we envision a peaceful, long-term social transformation, we call on President Benigno S. Aquino III to finish his term. We are concerned that some individuals and groups in our society are using the said Mama Sapano tragedy to call for the resignation of President Aquino. We do not support such call. We call instead on the President to rise above the current situation and to press on toward the goal of a good, transparent, just, and peace-oriented governance. As we hear of the all-out offensive of the armed forces of the Philippines or the AFP against the Bangsamoro Islamic group fighters and the Abu Sayyaf group in various parts of Mindanao, we call on all parties to make the safety of civilians their primary concern. These armed clashes have resulted to the displacement of more than 70,000 persons. And we are concerned that this might actually escalate into an all-out war, as is the nature of most armed conflicts. Instead, PCEC supports the call for an all-out peace being advanced by various civil society organizations all over Mindanao and throughout the Philippines. We call on both the government of the Philippines and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front to continue the peace process. We will continue to discern and process the implications of the Bangsa Moro Basic Law as we help advance the Kingdom of God in Mindanao and in our society as a whole. Along with other peace advocates throughout the country, we will continue our active participation in this process through our Peace and Reconciliation Commission. Signed, yours truly, and the PCEC Board of Trustees. Again, with this, I would like just to end here by welcoming you and thanking you for coming. As we will be giving more time for our main speakers and panelists, to express and to give their presentation and give you freedom later on to express what's in your heart 
about the impact of the Bangsa Moro Basic Law on Christianity in the Philippines. Again, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at nawa sa open forum na ito, malwalhati natin ang pangalan ng ating Panginoon. Amen. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat.